So, my friends kind of mentioned this in the mobile chat section of my Discord, and I want to address this. Now, what you see on the screen is pretty much the Japanese Idola. I have this on an emulator. I'm using Memu for this. You can use Bluestack, so you can use Nox, I think. That's the other recommended Android emulator. But whatever your preference is, you can technically get this game. I am playing the Japanese version, but guess what? Bump just release a heads up about the English counterpart that is about to come over there to the west. You can look in the description there is a link to this. What you want to do is go to this link and then you want to click on the here option. So if you want to beta test this you can. So let me just demonstrate it over here. You want to click here and then it's going to tell you what you need to do. But pretty much um, yeah North America is getting Idola. Now Idola it was the thing that they released during the 5th year anniversary I think? It was like in episode 5. And it got like mixed reviews, mixed, mixed feelings cause you know people were expecting something else other than like a phone app game. You can think of Idola like fake grand order but in the Fantasy Star sense with different characters compared to those that you see in Fantasy Star Online 2. However you'll notice a couple characters now that are from PSO2 like Matoy, uh, Lisa, Risa, who else is in there? Luther, Loser, and, and some other, Quana for example too, she's in here as well. I don't know what they did with the story, I think it somehow links to PSO2 now, I might be wrong about that, I can't read Japanese so I can't figure it out. If you guys want to inform me about it, if you are knowledgeable in the sense of Idola, you can put it down below. But the thing is, yeah, they're gonna get this game over there to the west. I got mixed feelings about this. If you want to hear my opinion, you can look in the description for the time skip. However, I do need to point this out on a factual sense. When it comes to them doing this in the North America, hopefully they can link Idola into PSO2. And guess what? If they're able to link it, you can have access to the Idola Point Shop. Now you will have to go to your Visa phone to access this. For the Japanese PSO2, I did link my main account to Idola, so whatever I do on Idola, it will transfer those points or transfer my progress and stuff into my main account. So I will get these Idola points and guess what you can spend them on? You can spend them on miscellaneous things, you can spend them on useful items such as star gems, you can spend it on cosmetics, stickers, experience tickets, some technical stuff in game. But the biggest thing I'm going to highlight will be the first two options, the star gems. Sadly, I can't really display like how many you get. I think I mentioned it in... no, I haven't yet. You'll see a video where I talk about how to get star gems. I still need to do a bit of research to figure out how to get star gems through PSO2 ES. But when it comes to getting the star gems over here, pretty much you get like 10 of the 10 star gems and then 10 of the 5 star gems. So you get roughly around 150 star gems on a weekly basis. You gotta trade in X amount of idola points, but hey, guess what? You get a consistent form of star gems because of this. Other than doing like battle pass and all that jazz. Over here in the Japanese piece of 2, we don't have that. So this, this is more of a plus side to us because we're not spending as much unless you're trying to get like a certain item from the star gem scratch and then this this might this will definitely help you in your cause but the problem is um this is my opinion now out of the two phone app games they could have went for they should have actually went for pso2 yes and yes you might be saying wait a second more if this music is uh familiar this is not idola music i know it's not idola music uh, I i'm using hunkai music because I'm a big fan of Hunkai, I'll talk about that in its own separate video. Anyways, back on topic. Yeah. I don't know why they decided to choose Idola. It, I, I can guess that it's easier to localize and it doesn't have mm, too many complications. PSO2 ES is a bit... Uh, I think it's straightforward but at the same time it's not. And in terms of programming and what you had to do too, that is also another thing. The biggest thing is PSO2 ES can offer you a lot in terms of helping you with some of the basic stuff that you do in PSO2 or it can give you some rare 
abilities that you usually don't see in PSO2, for example, those receptors, cell receptors, factor receptors, I did talk about these receptor abilities in its own separate video, up right hand corner or in the description. But the problem is, unit receptors, they can be dropped in PSO2 ES, and guess what, North America does not have receptors unless the developers, the head honchos, whoever's running North America VSO2 decide to implement that into the game somehow in some way. The easiest way to actually add these damn things would be to put them in a fucking battle pass, which I'm not gonna be happy about because that's not how it was originally because you had to get this through PSO2 ES. There are a couple other receptors in game like the cash items, Star Gym support item scratch and the AC support item scratch for the technical side of things, but yeah, when it comes to most receptors like soul receptors, factor receptors, sentence receptors, some other receptors, you get them through PSO2 ES, and without having an English counterpart to PSO2 ES, then you can't really do some of the stuff that end game players are doing in Japanese PSO2, or just having an option to have a way to finalize your fixes or to tamper and manipulate your fixes. I understand that a lot, not a lot of people like to do a bunch of fixes, but when it comes to these receptors, they actually help you cut down some of the methods you need to do. It doesn't give you such a headache, you don't need to do a bunch of manipulation with these, and once again, without these receptors, you won't be able to do some of the endgame formula that Japanese PSO2 has, especially with the three endgame abilities. Now there is another endgame ability coming out soon, I will most likely make a separate video talking about that. Just because if you plan to affix, you need to be aware of what's to come. And I don't want you guys to just like spend your money like willy nilly when you should be informed about this stuff, especially if you plan to do a bunch of big fixes. Well that's it for this video. I just wanted to give my two cents and talk about Idola before more videos pop about it. And to wrap up this video, let's do a 10 poll here. Also note that when it comes to Idola, it is having a bit of a questionable state in terms of power creeps and whatnot. And there is a step up sum summon. This is kind of good, but at the same time, Usually with a step up summon, they're, the unit that is in the step up summon, from what a friend told me, they're OP as fuck, so uh, yeah, you might want to do it. Right now we're in the Japanese PSO2, you can do some free 10 pulls every day. Let's see what I can get. I might actually use some of these uh, gems to try to get Grisal. Oh well, I got that animation, so I pulled something good. No, I don't know half of these characters' names, so don't expect me to know them right off the bat. I do like some of their art style. Hell, actually, I, I, I know I like Stella, but there's a couple others that I also like as well. I think that was a special item. Let's see if I actually pulled a 5-star unit. No, it was the uh, card effect. I don't know what to call this thing. I'm going to use, like, FGO terms, and if you're not familiar with FGO, then uh, don't worry about it. And also, if you are playing on FGO, just note that I'm playing on FGO. I already made a video talking about why I'm still playing FGO. But since I got a bunch of these gems, whatever you call these things, I might as well try to do a step summon for this chick. And it's a summon unit. She's in a bathing suit. Why not? I like girls in ba bathing suits. Alright, that was one. As you continue to do this, by the way, you will get some stuff, but this will also increase your chances of getting it. I think on the 5th summon step up, it is a guarantee that you will get the unit you are trying to pull for. I'm trying to skip this. Because I don't think I pulled her. Yeah, I did it. So yeah, if we go back over here, you'll see that if I was to do the 5th one, you would have to spend a good 10,000 of these currencies to get to this point you'll get it guaranteed with this and there is also a second and a third one as well actually more of a second one as well but yeah that concludes this video thank you guys for watching if you got any questions comment concerns leave it down below if you want me to do a tutorial slash guide slash walkthrough about how to go through idola for the japanese pso2 i cannot help you with that i might consider it, especially if they release the english version and i can easily use 
that translation and that setup to figure out some of these buttons over here. There are some new mechanics and stuff when it comes to Idola as well that I'm not familiar with. I'm not a huge expert about this uh, game. I just know the bare minimum so I can try to get a bunch of points. If you want to teach me as well, go ahead and do so in the comments. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.